meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and live Doppler 2X, the most powerful radar in the Miami Valley. We still have some flooding concerns across parts of the Miami Valley. Again, a lot of our area has been cleared from a flood watch, but Butler, Warren, and Clinton counties are still included in that watch. And if you're traveling south towards Cincinnati, uh, again, the watch extends down there and back into Indiana as well. So flooding across the region, just not as likely here for many of our counties. Still, of course, we could see some ponding of water out there as we continue to see rainfall across the area early this afternoon. You could see across the north, it's been a pretty steady light to moderate rainfall. That is going to continue. No breaks really coming up for you up there to the south and east. That's where we've had more pockets where we've seen those breaks, but we are beginning to see more rain fill in. So kind of a wet day, no matter how you look at it, across the Miami Valley. Rainfall amounts have been heavier back in Missouri. That's where the heaviest rain has fallen. Almost four inches there in Springfield, over three inches in St. Louis. This is over the past 36 hours. Indy's gotten a little over an inch and a half, and we're sitting a little over half an inch. So we've had it pretty easy here. Got some good soaking rains that we need, and we'll continue to see that as we head through the day today. Yesterday's number is 4457, so well below that normal high by 10 degrees. And today's rainfall so far since midnight, just 36 hundredths at the airport. Yesterday we picked up 17 one hundredths, so uh, we're above normal on the day, the month by three quarters of an inch, still well below normal for the year, and I don't think we're going to erase that deficit. The heavy, heavy rain the models were indicating is just not going to happen. It looks like uh, most locations will stay with a pretty good deficit on the year. 63 currently, morning low is down to 52, the dew point 61, and we do have a bit of a breeze coming in at 10 miles an hour, so a little on the breezy side as we head through the afternoon and into the evening. Satellite radar imagery here showing the showers working across the area. We do have some heavier rainfall down to the south. This will continue to work northward. So south and eastern Miami Valley may even get some heavier downpours there. That is something we'll watch as we head into the afternoon. But the rest of us to the north, especially of I-70 and west, uh, look to be pretty uh, okay dealing with the light to moderate rainfall and not that heavy potential for flooding. Here's a look at our setup. We've got the stationary front pretty much draped across the region. Center of low pressure back by St. Louis. That will ride along the front, keeping us with the chance of rain as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. And future track showing that. You see the showers in the area. Again, that heavier band likely to the south and to the east as we head into the afternoon. This evening, a lot of this will move away as the evening goes on. There's still the chance of some showers, but as we head through the evening, generally a drying trend works in, and it does look dry going into the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, no rain in the forecast. Today, up near 63 with the periods of rain continuing, and uh, that's pretty much where we are right now temperature-wise. We'll hold steady throughout the afternoon. A good chance of showers at kickoff. They kind of taper off as we head towards that fourth quarter. Temperatures will be cool falling into the upper 40s. By late tonight, we'll be down to 44 with rain early coming to an end. And then tomorrow looks like a dry day. A nice start to the weekend with temperatures in the upper 50s. A pretty good fall day. We'll do that again on Sunday if you're heading down to Harveysburg for the Renaissance Festival. Temperatures will be comfortable in the 50s and we'll see a bit more sunshine on Sunday. Monday looks dry for most of the day. Then late in the day, we have that chance of showers as the next feature works in. Should be out of here by Tuesday afternoon, though, and cool, really, for the next several days.